Hey there, Expert Energies fans. I'm currently streaming over here the uh, Ruby Volume 8 panel. Here we go. Expo Industries, Dr. Expo reactions. You're probably going to hear on the review too, so there might be a bit of feedback. Cool. Studio. And now. Hello, I'm Lindsay Jones and I play the voice of Ruby Rose. Hi, I'm Kara Everly, and I voice White Sheep. Hi, Hi, I'm Erin Zek, and I voice Blake Belladonna. Ah, oh, yeah. Oh, I'm <laughs> yes. I'm wondering who that was. Uh, I'm Barbara Duggleman. I'm the voice of Yang Shaolong. Oh, I knew it. The second I heard Duggleman. Duggleman. I knew it was Barbara. Like, the voice of Yang. I'm, I'm playing the part of the audience tonight as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I love if it. You, if you could, uh, if you could scream something in the middle of it, and we'll go. Wait, what? Nary, call, calm down. What? Paris, my wife. Oh, okay, what is the microphone? Can I, yeah, can you speak into the mic, please? Thank you. Uh, Paris, I love further, you. I would like to thank HBO Max for being the presenting sponsor of Rooster Teeth Animation Festival. Uh, they've made all this very possible. If you're searching for what to watch next, introducing the amazing world of HBO Max. At HBO Max, animation isn't just for kids. We've got the goods for the grown-ups. Which is also what's going to be on my tombstone. <laughs> We've got the goods for the grown ups. Oh. Carrie, on my tombstone, um, we're going to say thank you very much, first members, for making this possible. Without you, Ruby would not oh exist. Oh my so, God. You guys are amazing. Thank you. Much appreciated. Represent uh, It's only because of your continued uh, Ruby, membership sorry, that we could continue Ruby. bringing you new volumes of Ruby. Uh, uh, so please don't stop watching because we'd like to continue <laughs> to you stories about Never. your favorite Huntsman and Huntresses. So your support is amazing. You're the best. You Never stop. Never no, stop, stop please, please. Never stop stopping. Never stop. Stopping. Stopping. Never stop. <laughs> uh, it's the longest like stream ever. Um, uh, hey, so we're going to try and make this as much like a normal Ruby panel as possible, which means uh, a lot of mess ups. Um, but that's going to be more on my part than anybody else's. No. Uh, so, in keeping it like a normal Ruby panel, we've got some cool merch stuff uh, to talk to you about. Uh, oh! Do you want to start off with a, a very cool first announcement? Sure thing. Yeah, so the Volume 7 Blu-ray and home video uh, is now complete. It'll be available yes! on September 22nd. Oh, yes! We need to give a huge shout out <gasps> to our animation post. All right, going to get that. going to get that, friends. I'm really excited X about it. She's fans is going to be on. Um, we're also excited to be partnering with Warner Brothers <sighs> Home Entertainment uh, for this release. We've what? worked with them yes! for previous releases, but this is our first time. I can't wait to go to Walmart in December um, and get that volume. And at your local big box stores, Walmart, Target, Best Buy. It's so pretty. <laughs> but not Circuit City. <laughs> no, <but> alas, <laughs> not Radio Shack. Yeah. Are those places? Uh, is Radio Shack still open? <laughs> But I'll I'm try your excited. local Kmart. Yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited. It's, Blockbuster. Uh, Sears. Radio Shack still open it's weird in the US? It's, you know, we've been doing this so small. long to have, like, a physical thing. just makes it feel, like, more real. So, um, so cool. Comment down below if Radio it. Shack is still open in your city. Yeah, we did a bunch of commentary for it all from home. And there's some real, oh, there's yeah. some real chaotic energy on some of those tracks. <laughs> yes. I bet. There's a lot of chaotic, tired energy. Uh, in figuring out how to record commentary from home. Yes. <laughs> uh, it was good. Um, Carrie, do you have some stuff you want to share with us, maybe? Yes. Um, the Ruby Fall merch line was released <gasps> earlier today, and it's available at roosterteeth.com. Yeah, it's not that great. Dot com, or, uh, it's, it's okay, I do this all the time. Carrie. <laughs> Chain stitched embroidery in the fleece set features Chanel letters and a denim jacket that features art from Amity Arena and also includes a set of two right, cool. Ruby emblem pens. It's yeah. also cool. It's so cool. I know, and I know how Eddie has some more stuff to share with us too. <laughs> Yeah, well, it wouldn't be RTX without some RTX exclusive merch, right? So we have uh, Team Ruby reimagined uh, as kind of uh, retro anime figures for these uh, RTX exclusive Oh my god, that's beautiful. Shirts. Oh yeah. Uh, these things are super so cool. cool. Uh, I wouldn't wear it, but RTX, I just so like, I just wanted them, to like, just have RTX it. RTX merch always I just make a blanket out, so out of all my Ruby um, shirts. And then as a gift for first members, the Team Ruby shirt, the one that features all four of them, um, is going to be a first exclusive. Ah! It's a cool color too. Yeah, very cool. It's a, I love it. It's like very yeah. Game Boy esque. Yeah, yeah. All that, all that is really cool. And yeah, it, it, even though it's still, uh, even though it's a digital RTX, I think stuff is going to sell out pretty quickly yeah. still. 
Could I have one? I'm a first member. <laughs> I wish I was a first member. You get one for each, I think, oh. right? Yeah, for everyone yeah. on the team? Yeah. yeah. You well, all uh, get a different girl, but you can't have your own character. So you have to shoot. Yang, okay. that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> Are you freaking your Yang, that's fine. It's like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Damn it. I think we've already decided. It's, it's been yeah. done. Uh, speaking of merch, again, uh, <laughs> oh. uh, I actually have a very special surprise. So my announcement comes in the form of a video that we will play for you right now. Yes. Oh. Yes, it's, it's her jacket! Oh my god, I want it! I want it! I want it! I want it! I want this jacket! <laughs> First Yang Shell Lot Merch! And it's her fucking jacket! Oh my god! I want it! I'm gonna be like, I need to, damn it, I need to get this now! Oh! <laughs> She's even wearing it. Armor jacket. It's in store nice. now. I got myself one. Uh, it is amazing. So uh, we got a bunch of cosplay jackets and pin sets coming out. Uh, oh my so god! I want the jacket. Jacket, which is reimagined version of her current jacket. It's a unisex fit and it's full length. Uh, new cosplay hoodies oh, for Penny and Neo that are zip-up hoodies wait. with custom zipper pulls. Neo has an ice cream accessory and Penny's has a choker charm. I can't wait. I want to get the Angel Lawn Aviator jacket. As action figures. Crow is exclusive to the set as well and Team Ruby will be sold individually later this year. And I believe I want to get the Ruby, the Penny um, one right now. Not the Ruby, um, the I Angel Lawn yes, Aviator yes, jacket. Yes, That's yes, one thing. Like, I'm going to save up for that. You will see a combranted review hopefully soon of that. My uncle's in there. Yeah. I'm gonna put them on my denim jacket. It'll be great. Oh, heck yeah. yeah. Barb, Barb, is how, uh, what's it like? What, it looks yeah. cool. <laughs> I'm just living my best what's life right like, now, Barry. Like, hey. <laughs> I love that question. Yeah. yeah. Just looks super comfortable. Looking too. Good. It's also it perfect warm. today because it's it's like the coldest day of, uh, I think, the summer right now. And so I'm like, perfect right? time to bust out my bomber jacket. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Very nice. I got, I leave a comment like, if you want me to get that. Desk ride, though. Like, have you fly away on your desk right now? Like, <laughs> oh, I see you. <laughs> I was hoping you were going to keep the aviators <laughs> on the rest, of, uh, the rest of the panel. <laughs> I could. There you go. Yeah. Very nice. Oh my god. Laura, if I can ask too, will you Too many close to the similarities to yeah. like yeah, somebody I, I don't know. Like, look. You yeah, guys don't know this person. Back. It's very achievement hunter. <laughs> so. Oh, oh yes. Yes. <gasps> yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, yeah. I love it. That's really cool. Is it uh it looks it looks I don't know if you've allowed to post this. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Vini, just that, that little bit, maybe like a running jacket, <laughs> high visibility, it's perfect. <laughs> you always bring up the high visibility of this. Yeah. Item. That's all I can see. <laughs> Safety. It's, yeah. it's good, though. My jacket will fight your jacket. I'm just kidding. I'll be friends. <laughs> yes! Yang versus freaking. Do I have, I have something to do too? Penny! I didn't yeah. think there was a yeah, cool thing to talk about. Yeah! Um, the collaboration with Babs Tar and Ruby. Oh, oh hello. Um, oh. I'm so excited about this. I have been begging for one of these shirts. Um, I think it's gorgeous. <laughs> I think it's so cool. Um, That's beautiful. Everyone just looks like they're living their best life. And uh, I like that Ruby is kind of a punkish kind of girl, so and then Yane's like, bam. <laughs> You can no, get the I shirt see. and then and then go out oh, and, yeah. and wear it. With a mask. Yeah. Except, or yeah, we're probably in. no one else. Stay in. No. Yeah. yeah, stay in. And you know what helps? Uh, you stay know what inside. helps staying inside? Having What's lots that, of content to watch. Presented by <laughs> HBO Max. With the edgy, irreverent, late night <laughs>, laughs of South Park, Rick and Morty, and Max Originals like Close Enough and Boondocks. That one's really good. Uh, the action packed animated adventures from the DC Universe like Harley Quinn, plus the magical animated storytelling of Studio Ghibli and the best of anime from Crunchyroll. Animation has a new home on HBO Max, all in one place. Uh, Miles, you creep the shit out of me. Andy Tartakovsky's got some good things on there. Talking about that Samurai Jack. Um, it's good. It's good. You should use it. Um, but yeah, you can, uh, so can uh, uh, start streaming today. You can just download the app or visit oh, hbomax.com yeah, yeah. and start your free trial. Um, you can just start watching, you know, 
Right now, you have to just get yeah. the trial first. Just leave the panel. No. Second no. Put it on over here. no. Oh, yeah. I'm staying up until this yeah. is done. Well, that's what I'm doing. Uh, okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm just I'm in the middle of spirited away over on the right. <laughs> Uh, it's getting to the, some of the, the best parts. Uh, okay, cool. We talked about some merch stuff for a little bit. Uh, how's everybody doing? It's weird to do this and not oh my actually be seeing all of you and hugging everybody and talking backstage. I will say what is nice is usually at the panel, we're all like on a long table. So trying to like see and hear each other, you yeah. have to kind of do like the bend. But now I could see everyone and talk to everyone at the same time. <laughs> yes. yeah, I can see my dog. Like I can see you. Yeah. This is a, a, a behind the scenes look or listen. Uh, yeah, so at those panels, uh, I don't know what it is about the acoustics of that room. I've never heard anything awful. Lindsay, Kara, Aaron, or Barb have ever said on that panel. <laughs> yeah. ever. Unless we have good playback. Your mother really and I just here. whisper to each other hat, like throughout the entire panel, and now we can't do that. So <laughs> that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, I can't just like, <laughs> snack. Yeah, just oh, oh, man. We'll text each other. Hey, Barbara. I almost called you Aaron. Oh or you God. can do it right now, and we'll just all like <laughs> peer in and listen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll, yeah. we'll yeah. pretend to not hate. Well, okay, we're like, not. Oh listening. yeah, I'm not really it. listening. Barbara, that T-shirt's really cool. I want one. I okay, know, you still told Kara something. Barbara, that T-shirt. Oh, I just yeah. drooled. Oh, that's great. Yeah, and uh, I just want to call it too. Yeah, we've got some some new faces. Sorry, on the, I've never out this late, so more, it's kind of like um, doing zombie Simon mode for Ruby every year. So we wanted to. Get y'all in front of everybody and say thank you. Um, you know, for for those of you who don't know, uh, you know, Eddie is you know basically she got a Yorkie. That's what's awesome. your actual like official role? You said it earlier, I can't uh, Writing supervisor. Yeah, so you're you you do a lot for the entire department, but you know, so I can kind of you talk. and Kiersey, you know, last couple of years. I wanted to come with, into the video, but I want to still be able heard on my a big recording team unit. Um, and you know, Laura yeah, is now, you know, running all of the day to day of Ruby. So this looks awesome. Ahead days as well. Uh, 10, 17 stuff, but, PM. Uh, uh, I'm watching a Ruby panel on like, working, like Ruby on RTX animation <laughs> festival. How to make it work RTX at home. Yeah, for everyone that is Booyah. If you guys don't know that, Laura's check it out. They're going all weekend. It is technically <laughs> RTX weekend, so like she's they're the doing it at home. You can yes. go on the RTX RTX site and sense. check it out. Wait, I'm just gonna mute this. So you you can go to the RTX site and they're doing panels all weekend. I don't know the times, but yeah. Um, if you want to see some RTX love, uh, go over to roosterteeth.com. And check out the live streams. There, I'll be doing them roughly all weekend. I don't know the times. I just want to see Ruby panel, so I won't be following those. Um, hope you enjoy them. Sorry for the drooling. That was kind of. I am up later than usual, so yeah. All right, let's get back to the panel. Here we go. Right now, we're having a lot yeah. of fun with it, and we're trying something pretty ambitious. And like these guys are a blast to play with. It's, um, so it's been airing every every week for first members. The first episode is free to watch. We're gonna have a groom campaign panel also. The two September dogs are brawling in Barbara. Or, um, I brought my dice. It's okay. I um, don't know. Um, it, might be the 17th. Nice. it might be the 17th. Nice. I think I said the 18th, but Barbara had to tell it's me. The what it was the it's the 17th at one. The 17th at one. Dang it! I was really good at it. That's right. <laughs> There's two um, dogs that she's fighting in the actor that plays Blake's them, like background right now. <laughs> it's so cute. a little bit about your characters. Like you had one tagline, Laura. Ooh, okay. Arashi yeah. Sky. She, ooh, tagline is tough. She is not great with people, but she is great with everything else. Oh, okay. So ooh, she likes it all. She's all enticing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to get to the good stuff. I wish I could just speed it up and be like, boom, it's to the good stuff now. They're just kind of chatting right now. It's kind of boring. I want to get to the good stuff. Ah! Uh, uh, I'm playing uh, Pike Wright, uh, who is uh, basically an ag anime protagonist. Uh, uh, he's trying to be, he's doing his best impression. Uh, it's just the most annoying version of myself, basically. Um, Eddie, nobody's figured out Let's hear my name Carrie. yet. I'm trying to figure out if I should say it or not, because it's dumb. And people come up with better explanations for my name 
than what it actually is. I like the idea of you never having a name, like that you go the whole campaign with just no name. <laughs> that's that's well, a it, thing, it, though. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the, the reasoning behind it. I'll save it for the show. I'll save it for the show. Yeah, yeah. for the RTX panel. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's the yeah. mysterious yeah. director of Ruby. Exclusive. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait. I also I want to say this quickly before we get back to the panel. Actually, I'm going to quickly pause this so I don't miss anything important. Um... I want to say we miss you, Monty. Before this this panel gets any further, I just want to say Monty Ohm was the creator of Ruby, and we miss him dearly. And I'm glad they're keeping his memory going with keeping Ruby going. So R.I.P. Monty, we miss you. And to my heart, I wish I could have met you, but I didn't. I'm glad I met the four Ruby girls and the previous Crow and Tyrion. I had Fan Expo, um I don't I don't actually remember the year. Uh, it was one of the previous years. But I do like that we I that Ruby and the previous actor Crow Vic came to Fan Expo and I met them. They were very kind very thoughtful. They didn't mind taking as many photos as I like. They were very thoughtful of the um the uh, Ruby posters up here that they signed. I like that. I like that they took the time to enjoy my artwork that I got signed. I do have a bunch of other Ruby posters up above me here. Um, but I want to say to my heart's content, which will never be happening because Monty Ohm was the creator of Ruby and we miss him dearly and I miss him and... I, I think I've said enough. Uh, let's get back to the show. And, uh, yeah. Oh. Start over. <laughs> We're starting over. Yeah. But we've been, uh, so yeah, since, was it late March? Early March? Late March. Yeah. yeah. March. I, looked at, I took two weeks off right as this was starting, so I just came back yeah. to, to everything. That's right. Talking. No, but that was my experience. You just started your time off, and then I got the news that, like, so we have to go remote starting Monday. Can you figure that out? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. We're scary. You did. We and, did. And the yeah, team, we, we, we did. figured it out. It was, a. Uh, I would not say that we're at peak efficiency. No, it's really I, nice. I, it sounds like everything's going really well. But it's, yeah. yeah, it's been amazing it's going, right? what the team's been able to do. I mean, really. It, yeah, it's really yeah. awesome. Mm -hmm. um, VO wise, like, we've got a few of us, I've gone in for some Playmate recording too. And I feel like yeah. when I go in, they have everything so locked down. And we have, like, of course, total protocol. Gotta make sure you sign up properly. Everything is sanitized. And you're the only person in the booth. When I open the door, it feels like I'm you know, like doing like an air pressure lock. Like, oh, no. <laughs> it smells so clean. Like going to record. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we have like we figured out basically ways that we can have like very minimal VO sessions and then like uh, mocap sessions too, um, where you know normally we you know our mocap was up to like you know we ha we could have six to eight people and and we have a technician and we have somebody taking notes and and all this and now it. Just so you guys know, for fans of Ruby, I am staying up until like 10.30, so this is like way beyond like what I usually stay up on. But I wanted to film this for you guys, and so you guys can get my reaction of Ruby panel. I don't know if I'll be allowed to post this until like next week. Um, this is just my reaction. They're taking a rather quite long time. Like they kind of went in fast with Ruby, now that they're just kind of talking. I don't know if you can hear it in the audio. Um, yeah. All right. Cool. Do that. I do want to mention we found a yeah. loophole to the mocap situation, though. Oh yeah. <laughs> if we happen to have performers that oh, live together and are roommates and already in quarantine, <laughs> then they can go in together. So we've had some sessions with two performers, and it's been really helpful. Mark. But yeah. yeah. Uh, spoiler alert: There's some hugs this season, and uh, <gasps> that was good to be able to do with two people uh, instead yeah. of Joel hugging himself twice. Now I want that that mocap like. I, I mean, he does. That is how he starts and ends every session is with a hug with himself. Um, but uh, <laughs> I still love yeah. like why is like um how do we hug in mocap? Part of the way through animation at this point for volume eight. Um, this production is starting up for Viz Post. We've got a couple chapters under our belt. 
and pre-production is wrapping up volume eight and moving on to volume nine already, which is been Volume nine! What? So yes, we get into volume nine! Track, really Sorry, I just track. like... Knock on thing going. all the wood. Yep, everybody. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we've actually, as voice actresses, also have taken up animation and yeah. uh, helping actually with Ruby yeah. Volume Eight this season. Yeah. Oh, right. the yeah, actors are even doing scene. the Volume Eight reviews yeah, or animation. <laughs> Let's go. I just, I just rotoscoped myself into it. Yeah. Hello, it is I, Blake. <laughs> Belladonna. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I just I Blake Belladonna. Not really. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm, doc, I'm Dr. X and I'll always be Dr. X. I'm just yeah, we mocking you. Yeah. How long is this video going to? Uh, but yes. Yeah, so Holy crap! Forty-five minutes. Kind of production wise we're, kind of oh, we're gonna be here for a long time we both i hope you're ready for this season just to kind of like help things flow together um which has been good uh it, it is good because it means we can kind of like keep things moving and we always have this like you know the first couple episodes uh -oh. it's like a ramp up of like everybody uh -oh. like getting back we lost voice and now we won't have that she's episode. lagging um, definitely was not expecting oh uh, i thought she was gonna be dropped like no I don't know the actor's name, so don't kill me for that. Uh, I, I honestly, I couldn't imagine them going better unless it was us back in the office. So, uh, yeah, you know, I will take yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, and speaking of like, you know, uh, the volumes going into each other, we're, oh, we're getting, we're getting close with writing on volume nine. Yeah, it's volume wild. Nine is probably volume nine. a few weeks away. <gasps> what? Volume nine, people! Volume nine! Holy crap! That's gonna be crazy! I can't wait for volume nine. It can't come any sooner. It's probably gonna come a year later. Look, oh, you're right. So we've been. I mean, me and Kiersey were talking about it the other day. Like, we're a few weeks away from wrapping volume nine. We started writing volume seven in January of last year. So it's been this almost two-year like just process so of like sure. one volume to the next. We've got like a little bit yeah. of time to like regroup in between each one, yeah. but. I mean, we knew that from the outset that we were going to be hitting all three of these volumes in a row. Um, so it's That's it's so exciting cool. and and scary and but it's been a lot of fun. Yeah, most things, most good things are. Turn this off yeah. so you guys can yeah. um, <laughs> Speaking of exciting and scary, uh, we uh, it wouldn't be an RTX without showing y'all something new and cool. Yes. Um, so how about here we go? Here we go. A little teaser, sneak peek of what's to come. <laughs> Here we go! Atlas is only Salem's current target. Oh, so they already and showed this. Here, the they already released it. I swear this is old news. Oh, that looks beautiful. Right this isn't about just they got Pterodactyl Grim. What? And Osman's, or Iowan's got his hand back. I wonder if it's mechanized now. Oh, man. Volume 8. I have questions for you. But first I need the one who can show me how. Oh, it looks so good. Watch it on Rooster Teeth. I will be watching it and you will get yeah. reviews. Oh. Yeah. Thanks for that's yeah, already posted, that guys, so it's nothing new. Tease, but, I was just, uh, it's actually up here um, right now, too. <laughs> I was watching it before I, I this, this, this stream. stream. I'm excited because I'm just yeah. like, that's how excited I am. <laughs> Holy it's, the, uh, it's a big epicness one. of yeah. all of it. Yeah. Oh, you the performances, big. animation. Brooke's hair's got some fluff to it now. Yeah. yeah. We, uh, we, 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 made, we made some, some updates. Oh, yeah. A couple updates here and there. We're cute. We're cute. Yeah, he was wearing the same jacket that I am. <laughs> yes. Hashtag Yen Shalom. Finish up a, a shot. <laughs> um, so I do want to say, uh, oh, you man. know, yeah, one thing at the end of that clip was uh, we uh, we have officially announced our release date. It is oh, November seventh. Yeah. November seventh. Yes. <laughs> yes. We yes. can't yeah. wait. Uh, <laughs> um, that is what we're what it's looking like. We're yeah. feeling, we're feeling good. Uh, 
I think uh, this has been true for uh, about every month uh, this year so far. Don't know what next month holds, yeah. or the month after that, or anything. So those murder uh, hornets could come back at any yeah. second. You never know. Yeah, no. Yeah. I'm just expecting like come out of the toilet. Literally, we oh, have Grim no. in this world and that in one, Earth no, that are no, called but, uh, killer so that, bees that's what it is right now. or hornets. I don't know if, if you know the real uh, name. Leave a comment down to, below to maybe slide it back a little bit. Um, we, you know, we want to do the best balance of you know giving you a really good show and also not overworking people um oh, man. so we just you know we we <laughs> are flexible with that um but yeah. another cool thing well, you know, well, 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 we well, 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 uh, but I think it's coming together really, really well. Um, the team is is just knocking it out of the park. I can't yeah. wait to see it. <laughs> I'm very excited. Well, um, I think that's a, that's a pretty good update on where we're at with Ruby. And before we get to partner stuff, Barbara, I think you have something that you would like to talk to us about. I do. Before we get to partner stuff, I would like to say thank you to AT&T. AT&T presents RTX this year. Thanks to them, we were able to bring an awesome RTX to you guys. It would is not be possible done? without them. Uh, AT&T's 5G network I can't is even fast, see if this is done. I hope it's done. Because I gotta go to bed. Whether you're at home be able to crack or on the go, like, you'll enjoy coverages never. in more places. Plus, AT&T doesn't make it complicated. 5G access is included in all consumer unlimited plans at no extra cost. For more information on AT&T 5G, visit att.com slash 5G. Seriously, thank Barbara you so much, AT&T. Like my axe. RTX at home doing what we do here would not be scary. possible without their support. So thank you very oh. much. Uh, and now, so thought I'd of that. like to pass it to Eddie <sighs> to talk about some awesome partner stuff. Mr. Uh, Eddie Rebus. Yeah, so, um, yeah, first up, kind of our partner stuff is uh, our partnership with Scholastic. Um, you know, before the dawn came out uh, earlier this year, and out now, we have oh, the yeah. Fairy Tales of Remnant. It's not out <gasps> Gotta now. get that. I haven't got it, but I want to get it just yeah, to get so it signed. Yeah wherever books are sold oh uh, my god that would really be beautiful awesome fairy tales um kind of plucked straight oh i gotta get that um, there's so many books so much so much merch huge shout out to Whoa! the awesome illustrator on this mm -hmm. book because it's gorgeous like there's so really some great. really phenomenal art uh in there Whoa. and then also shout out to ec myers who uh has been kind of the writer that we've oh, partnered man. with for all of these books um he's just killing it he he comes to us with so many cool ideas and we work really well with him um yeah. so well, yeah, imagine we get summer videos. like a uh, yeah, a, 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 a mini story of how summer actually went scholastic to fight on our scholastic panel that's gonna be mind-blowing um, we'll have some more or even the four maidens like a full like story that we can read on the four maidens it's, yeah. oh, it's, it's, it's very pretty. Yeah. yeah. Well, speaking of books, uh, we have some new manga updates for you guys as well. <gasps> new manga! Uh, our uh, Viz Ruby the Official Manga Beacon Arc, volumes two and three are in print for the first time. Whoa! I make manga! Oh, also, man, I can't Viz, wait. The Juniper Anthology Manga, uh, which is yeah. comprised of fan art and stories. That one's released Yo. July Star 2021. Oh, so, it looks so cool. Okay. Which is <laughs> your favorite? Um, and then lastly, March, we have um, uh, Atsuko, a new manga art collection, collection, which is available now on atsuko.com. Um, it's this. an exciting new take on the manga okay, art whatever. by Iwa san. Um, oh, wow, that's a lot of people are really wanting the Team Burby pin set. Off through the end of September. Oh, so shit. Check it out. Whoa. Oh, sorry, I was I, I was watching this art style so it's, much. Yeah, yeah. Mila Sun's art is uh, has always been great. All, all, I mean, all of the, all of this art looks amazing, uh, but uh, yeah, it's a it's a cool just... cool new way to get some more Mila Sun art. Absolutely, um, taking it from awesome two D art to awesome three dimensional art. Oh, I feel like I should talk about oh, wow. the Good Smell Ruby Pop Up Parade. Um, pre order is open now. <gasps> the the oh my God! And, uh, no we Gotta get that add that to my collection up here, right date. here. Okay. Right Obviously, things are a little crazy, here. but we're we're looking forward to February. Oh. Um, it's approximately six point six nine inches in yes. height. And the stand is included. I got one right here. <laughs> you wanna pop me in? Feel free. Nice. Get a little sight. Yeah. Oh, oh, the scythe is still not connected. It's a working scythe. 
don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, these figurines are non-posable, but they are affordable and very, very detailed. Um, I can absolutely. Oh, uh, I gotta add that to my collection. I gotta get more ruby figurines. Her bullets, her bandolier. Yeah, it's so cool. Uh, it's cool. Yeah, for sure. And she actually comes off the base too. If you want to just like freeform, like have Ruby hanging yeah. out, that's fine. She, she shouldn't even friends. be out of the package. Yeah. It's actually how we're doing a uh, volume nine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's all stop <laughs> <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yay. You kidding me? Yeah. It was. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and we have, uh, I think, one more. Uh, I'm looking at this poll, and like a lot of people trust. want the Team Ruby so paint set. Someone else to talk about? Like, nobody's wanting the ball collector and the jogger, joggers. Uh, nobody wants that. It's only 7%. It's white! Yes! Oh, it's yes! I gotta get these! I gotta get these! I gotta add them to my collection. October 14th, and the estimated shipping date is also February 2021. So come check it out and free ah, yeah. so cool. I love her pose too. She's Here's all like, oh, very, I like the dynamics of the pose. Yeah, very wise. If I could take it over for a second. Uh, hi, uh, my name no. is uh, <laughs> Ross. <Ross-Ross>, <laughs> <and>, uh, <laughs> I have an enduring addiction. Uh, no. And uh, the good news is uh, you all can now too. Yay! She has an addiction. Yeah! Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. They finally happened! Ba, 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 ba. Are they figurines? I, I don't like them. They look weird. You know me. I have a lot of them. Uh, and I'm about to have four more. Uh, <laughs> the, Carrie's uh, got a fucking the, the miniature addiction. He's stuff, got like uh, has been really awesome. Oh, uh, oh I can't complain. Yeah, I do have two Funko, uh, well, three Funko uh, Pops uh, of uh, Ruby. Let's actually, let's go ahead and show the next image because we can see something that you can pre-order right now. Oh. The Ruby one is up there. Gotta get it. Uh, it Gotta like get it. Most Don't wear this with headphones if you want to keep your ears. Because I am clapping because I am doing posing. this. You got Crescent Rose. You got Crescent Rose in rifle form. You can choose which ones. You could change it every day. You could leave some of them in the box uh, for a safe... You know, sometimes sometimes I'm having a bad day. I go through and I switch up all my Nendoroids. It's great. Um, they're going to be... Nice. You, know, they're about three you can just build the Ruby in their different poses. Um, I want... Really the, I'm going to get these. I have to get these. Uh, you know, whatever, whatever you're feeling. Um, but yeah, we're super excited about those. And yeah, you can do oh, Ruby right now. Ooh. Uh, geeky tinkies. Yep. Seamless. <laughs> Seamless. What? Yeah, yes. There's pump. Uh, gotta get those. Gotta put those in my, gla in my cabinet here. I gotta get two so I can put one in this glass cabinet this year, and one in my medicine, my the, drinking uh, cabinet here. I, these are, are they cups? They're cups. Yeah, yeah. they're yeah. mugs, right? Yeah. Mugs, yeah. Good. Yeah. 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 All of your, your Tell me Yang's got something and, good. Do we have a Yang with, with a robotic our, arm? Our, our merchandise. Do we have her with a like robotic like arm? <laughs> That's the question. Is, uh, Cause if we do, I'm getting it. I want to get it. Cause they've been like doing Ruby and Yang. From yeah, like volumes horrible. one to three, this, this whole thing yeah, one to three, they haven't done a new game of volume four to yeah, seven. Or we'll the eight now. <laughs> now eight, <laughs> eight, yes. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, I do have a copy addiction, which I guess is why I'm talking about this thing. Um, yeah, so. We have uh, the interventioner. <laughs> but let's do it. <laughs> you think I have a problem? You have a problem. Yeah, that's true. We all have a problem. Issues that we're gonna have to We're up at like 1030 at night. Of course you have a problem. Well, actually, they'd be in daytime. I'd be on Coming up with a King's Coast coffee. We've got a Huntress blend coming out for Ruby. Nice. To, to look like an in-world coffee company, the Mistral Mountains Roastery. Awesome. Uh, and in the spirit of, like, I would just get that to awesome collect it. Heroes, I wouldn't even drink. I get two, and, and I drink one and bird. keep one for uh, myself. In the real world, uh, you know, cool. uh, in the real world like, yeah. <laughs> place. Uh, keep an eye out for the coffee in Volume Eight. It actually makes a cameo um, appearance in one of the episodes, and uh, you will. You know, keep an eye out for that. I don't think nice. it's hard to miss. It's canon. Coffee. <laughs> I don't think it's hard to miss. <laughs> it uh, I like yeah, coffee. Available nice 
exclusively on the Coons Coast I have no website. life. I just live yeah. with Ruby. Yeah. Like, so really, Ruby, 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 a John oh, figurine. Guys, Miles better come out with a John figurine. John, John, John figurine. John Art. He's got to come out with a figurine. We have a bunch of room. Oh, wait, he did. Sorry. It's down there. I'm an idiot. God. I, I'm sorry. I forgot that they had a Team Juniper. Nerdy garbage. Uh, Ruby figurine. Actually, I'm I forgot that they had a John, a John figurine. I, I have it. I have the whole Ruby set. I just need a mint Weiss and Blake, and then I have the set. Yeah, we have a fridge in our office, and I, oh, I don't even, I have oh. no idea what's in there. It's going to be that episode. Go in there with a hazmat suit. Where that, that creature comes gross. out of it. Yeah. Um, we've, we've left all sorts of things at the office, a bunch of toys, and also some games. But here's a game yeah. that you might have heard game. of. Game. Combat ready? You're playing? Oh, it's a board Ooh, game. A okay, I'm not interested. Everybody's Sorry. favorite B team is here to <laughs> steal the spotlight. Sorry, I thought it was actually a good game. It's just a board Here's game. A fun, I'm like, uh, Bleh. A fun idea too. Bleh. Take a screenshot right now. Uh, print it out. Uh, just trim out that picture of Volume One uh, or Volume Two, whichever uh, Team Juniper, and just slap that bad boy over the cover of your Ruby Combat Ready box. <laughs> You're gonna find it looks at least ten percent better. <laughs> um, so yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, as always, uh, to Arcane Wonders. They're amazing. Uh, and you can stay tuned. I forgot they made a John Arc. I'm sorry, Ruby fans. I forgot they made a John Arc figurine. I have it over there. I'll show you my Ruby set later when we're done the panel. Oh, I'm excited for this one. This is a very exciting one. Yeah. My name is uh, Carrie Shawcross, and uh, I have a video game addiction. I knew it! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Miles, I knew it! Very special announcement. Uh, we are uh, officially working on our next big Ruby video game. It is with uh, uh, two partners that uh, we love a lot. Uh, it's with Way Forward and Arc Systems Works. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Is it going to be distant? Decent I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to make it sound like there's some things that we talk about that we are coming on about. Like we're, we're, we don't do it unless we're excited about it. Yeah. We are very excited about this. Oh, I'm staying up late to do this. Are you fans? The game. They're making the Ruby, game. Uh, my subscribers. Uh, and Arc Systems are oh, this is going to be a long video. Um, you know, we've worked with Arc Systems in the past uh, with uh, Blaze Blue. Um, and uh, this is our you know first chance getting to actually work with Way Forward to make a game. We are all huge fans of their games as well. Uh, you know, big Shantae fans, River City Girls. Um, oh, man. River City Girls, man. We've and we've been working with them, you know, like we do with all these games. You know, we've been working with them super closely. It's gonna be, a late it's night. Gonna be really cool, y'all. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna play this. I like, I keep, I, I keep <laughs> waiting for like. I know I'm a <laughs> all, all the art and uh, stuff that we've been seeing is so cool. From yeah, it, so yeah. yeah. The so story too is really exciting. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be an original story, uh, and uh, it might just take place during uh, during Volume Seven. Maybe there's like a little. Ah, I'm just making a proper game that might be uh, actually worth playing. Piss for piss, love here I come, baby. But, uh, we're really excited to work with them. Uh, it's gonna come to consoles and PC in 2021. Uh, you know, I'm assuming they probably want us to. Oh my god! Too, but let's just get excited about it. 2021, 2021. it's happening. Uh, 2010. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming back 10 years ago before COVID even happened. Uh, cool. And with that, that is all of the like cool announcement stuff we wanted to bring to y'all. So uh, continue with the theme of I know we're not in person, but it would not be an RTX panel without this. Uh, we want to answer some questions, and yeah. uh, <gasps> instead of uh, you know having everybody run up, even if we say don't run and get to the mic, everyone, uh, we had some people sending questions and a couple of them in video form. So they ran up to their own video recording device. Yeah, they ran up to their own phone <laughs> going to ask and recorded. Can I get this? Yeah, I mean, I'm assuming they probably ran at some point. Uh, yeah, an hour uh, long. Let's go ahead with our, our first question from, from the audience. Hi, everyone. Happy RTX. So we know Ruby's birthday is October 31st, but my question was, what are some other characters' birthdays? Thank you. Love y'all. Bye. <laughs> I could have submitted videos. Oh, yeah. Garrett! No! Yeah, that was a good one. Uh, 
Thanks to everybody for the question. question. Yeah. Yeah. So obviously the one that everybody really wants to know is uh, Neptune's birthday is uh, <laughs> is is May first, which is also my birthday. That's not related. Uh, I like but, the idea. Uh, Neptune's, of Neptune's my favorite character. I like the idea of like either Neptune or Jean, just one of the goobers. Their birthday is, is February 29th, just because it's. <laughs> it would be Jean. It would be Jean. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, Jean is like. birthday would be Jean's for sure. Well, this would yeah. be April Fool's, right? Oh, Ooh, that's good. Oh, that's, that's good. April Fool's could be Suns. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Michael <laughs> Jones, <laughs> April Fool's. <laughs> Get my, my what? What is it? Wet pad? What pad? Whoa. Oh, what? I thought you were saying something else for a second. I thought, I thought uh, you were saying yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tumblr. No, the, 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 the whole yeah. people write their fan fictions. Yeah. Uh, okay. Not, not you're talking about songs. Oh, this is oh, a long no. ass video. Yeah, that was going to be my answer to an upcoming question. I knew we had that pick. Look at it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hey, hey, Eddie, Loremaster, do you want to do you want to drop some knowledge on everybody? Yeah, sure. Uh, we we get asked this all the time to confirm birthdays, and we figured we might as well do it for RTX. So everyone Thanks. knows uh, that Ruby's birthday is uh, October thirty first, oh, uh, but we also have the rest okay. of the girls' birthdays. <gasps> This is us learning it for the first time, by the way. We're probably gonna know. So, first yes. up is. Yes! Is May 15th. May 15th? She's got, the, she's got that big Taurus energy I've... going. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it makes sense. May 15th. I gotta put these in my phone. All right, wait. It's um. gonna be a day and a month. <laughs> Yeah, but people yeah. really seem to care thing. about that. So you're really yeah. yeah. wait. Can I get a piece of paper and write this down? Yeah, I mean, it's mostly based on like yeah. astrological oh, science type stuff, I right? Yeah, what is that? Kind of like the fifteen Taurus energy, right? Uh, Blake I'm gonna write this down. I'm writing this down. Nineteenth. I like that. Uh -huh. Yeah, Capricorn. Like Capricorn. Uh, I'm gonna write that down. I like that it's an <laughs> odd number. Yeah, and then uh, Yang. So no. Yeah, Oh, I gotta go back. Can it let me go back? Please. Is, uh, July no! <laughs> I missed Big July 20th. Oh, they call me Big Leo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna write that down. July 28th. Oh, July 28th. Okay. July 28th is Yank. No, that's Yang. 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 Yang.
like I, did, I don't know how to get rid of the so, circle um, oh, I think it, it's been you know it's been a little okay bit there we like, go how do Phew. we oh do some stuff like that while that was also scary. not you know changing <laughs> the characters the stream in a the way that makes them like yeah. feel like unrecognizable or weird so I, I I want to bring it up because you know it's not something that we have like you know I definitely think it'll be probably more aligned with like a. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna uh, get copyrighted for this because this, um, this is like me anything, watching it and their voices are probably gonna come up in the stream. Uh, but uh, <laughs> that's definitely something we have in mind, especially for newer characters. Uh, and then uh, something we want like, to look at the next time we kind of oh, uh, get to, to kind of touch the main girls. Yeah. But uh, well, um, we should have like a rocky sequence. Like have a rocky sequence, and then everybody's suddenly buff. There, yeah. 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 All about it. If Yang doesn't have a 16 pack <laughs> at some point, yeah. I am all for it. I want to have more abs than Yang. Oh, he's Hulk smashed. Holy crap. 16 pack. <laughs> Yeah. Also, White, just Weiss's left arm, the one she holds the swords with, there's the yeah. one that's like super muscular. Yeah. Yeah. The rest is dancer body. Yeah. yeah. Basically, you're just describing my D&D &D character. Pike just like, has like <laughs> one giant arm. And there's been no other jokes made. <laughs> I think that's that too. Really someone's his speed so would you have like runner's legs because those aren't defined at all i definitely have the skinniest legs wow. in the world interesting, <laughs> interesting. We, we actually we did do that with harriet yeah harriet yeah harriet's got harriet's got those those runner legs yeah, yeah harriet's yeah, whole idea yeah. was like we wanted her big bionic arms to kind of be like hey look up here this is what's dangerous just kidding it's these thighs i'm gonna <laughs> <laughs> it's these thighs yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the asops in general were like one of like just the way that like budget and schedule and everything worked out that we were really able to be like cool let's make like a really like physically diverse yeah. muscular looking team um, <laughs> so, so let's like, make a whole uh, team because we're super strong and i have because no I muscles so i, I can't i don't want to commit to any like plans about like the girls themselves or like characters we have i do want to say that like that is the direction we're trying to move with stuff so and we're super supportive of it so um i'm i'm hoping it will work out yeah so hopefully that was vibes for sure Yes, yes. That's Only like for the fans, things. I'm doing also, this. Also, a shout out to Liliana, who that we, we've met her yeah. at a couple different cons. So thank oh, you for your awesome. question, Yay. Liliana. <laughs> that's really cool. Your lipstick looks nice yeah. today. <laughs> oh, uh, we already recorded that. <laughs> we always have that conversation. Oh, we, we, oh, uh, when we paid that question, we did not know that. <sighs> so that I love how, like, well. yeah. I love how Blake's or the uh, person that plays Blake has wait, long hair, the and then Weiss is ching, and then uh, like. Um, James Owens, uh, my question is: What would you do if you met your character in real life? Thanks. That's that's a really good question. Yeah. Shit. Thanks, James. Uh, sorry, I was, I was answering a, a message about this thing. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think this could apply to to. Okay, Eddie, I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, oh. Whatever. But you can you can you can talk about how what it would be like to me. Uh, you talk about Neptune, and I'll talk about Pike. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. Do you want to start with the Ruby Girls? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do that. Oh boy. Uh, I, I, I don't know. Earlier, Lindsay, like twenty year old Lindsay, would have been like cool because I was more hyperactive. Now I feel like I'd be like, I already have two kids. I need to calm the hell down. <laughs> <laughs> I have to get it. it doesn't matter anymore. We would bake together for sure. Yeah, that'd be fun. Bake and work um, out. Joke the box, this post I something. would ask Weiss to take me shopping. <laughs> it's like, girl, we're going shopping. I, I would do the and same. I'd be like, Weiss, let's go. I do, so she can <laughs> <laughs> I just like, Weiss, we're going shopping. Let's go. You got money. Let's just hey, I mean, buy out the TARDIS. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's right. Get it. You'll be one of those yes. parents that's like, yes. I brought you into this world. <laughs> I brought you into this world. You're going to fucking get... No, give me your credit I, card. Actually, I shouldn't swear. <laughs> you're going to get me this Blake this and now, and you're going to get me now. We probably wouldn't talk to each other. We'd just, like, have tea and read a book or something and just kind of sit in the same room and... Not talk. Not say anything to each other? <laughs> yes, I got it. It's like, I'm going to read a book. Yeah, put on throw on some Enya. Let's like read a book. Hey, ha, ha. No need for words. <laughs> it's like let's read a book. I don't I don't have anything better to do and I don't yeah. wanna talk. Right. Very true. Very true. <laughs> That's what Probably I just got copyrighted for that. Shiza. Uh I think 
I think if I met Yang, it would be a mixture of emotion, but I think at first we would both be trying to like out pun one another. <laughs> <laughs> pun war! Like, Let's yeah, do it! At that point, it would just get competitive, and I think it might, we might start butting heads. But, uh, I would like to think that we would be good friends, and I would be very intimidated by her and oh, sure. uh, go cry. <laughs> the fact that you're on the yeah, 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 Oh, this uh, is just some, like you. hugging time. Uh, oh, if I met Yane, I would just be like, yes. I would be trying to win My one character I would love to just um, because I feel like she is. A, I want to say a meaner version of me, but really she just has like really <gasps> boundaries. Thirty-five so like, to eleven p.m. at night. Her. I'm filming this for you guys. Do, do I do? Okay, no, that's fine. <laughs> I mean, that's basically how I would be too. That, that's how I would act if I met a Rostra. Yeah, yeah. I would too. Miles? Um, I think we would do Saturday morning. Wake up. Gym sesh. I need to learn how to get the strong boy like the once noodle man. Because I am a noodle with a bit of chub right now. And I want to be like the uh, strong boy. Strong um, Hulk smash beauty open. I'm people to movies. So I'm like, hey, let's just put in... The Dark Knight or something, and just geek out. And he'll be like, "This reminds me of a guy called the Huntsman," and uh, and we just chill, have a have a pizza movie day. <laughs> we'll it's see him in like the really future good. of John when we he's would, retired. We would that pizza with the morning workout sesh, and then we would veg. Yeah, you gotta get those. You gotta get those those John legs in, right? He's got God, if only. <laughs> if only. He's got those. Nice God, if only. <laughs> I was gonna say I'd want to go for a hike or something with a rostra because I feel like we would both want to be out in nature. Aww. But I can't go hiking with her with her servo legs. Like she was. Got cat legs. I could never. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my god! You, you I know it's somebody that just runs when they hike. It's like. <laughs> 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 Yoda, just hop on her back. Right. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a strong one, young Pokemon. We would just play video games and be awkward. And if I met Pike, we would just play video games and be awkward. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and and again, try and figure out how to make a roster like us. Because uh, yeah. Pike's not doing a great job of that. Uh, neither is and neither is Carrie. <laughs> cause way, he's man. Pike. Yeah, you know. There's a, there might be a, a goof em up in one of the episodes coming if up. If I met Yane, I'd be like, <laughs> We're Pike to some stupid My things. Uh, that's, that's pretty normal for him now. Uh, okay, I think we've got time for one more question. Um, and uh, uh, this one, uh, the, the video did not work for some reason. We apologize. But this is from Nick. Uh, in a universe where the Grimm can only be defeated by the power of music, and every huntsman and huntress is a musician. What real life songs do you think Ruby, we team Ruby would perform? Who would they perform? Mm. Uh, I just want to answer for you. Baby. <laughs> 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 I like white baby. <laughs> hey, um, I like his voice's you... style at all, but I'm kind of all about exactly. that. <laughs> You're like, Bryce, you listen to Vanilla Ice? <laughs> of course I do. I kind of want Blake <laughs> to just go off the deep end like completely different from what she looks like and i want her to play like rob zombies american witch or something oh <laughs> just um, headbanging I all the way say, if i still had my uh, hair i, I would totally like headbang should all play the song that goes ah! <laughs> <laughs> See, for I you, Barbara, the second they said it, I was like, oh, through the fire and the flames by Dragon Force. Oh, damn. Force. Duh. Damn, that's a good one, too. The extended version, please. I want the five-minute drum solo. Do you 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 do
Uh, does <laughs> Ironwood <laughs> and or Watts have a semblance? If so, what is it? Uh, so quick answer. Yes. I know we're short on time. So Watts does not have a semblance. He was a guy that learned like basic self-defense martial arts, but has always been someone who has relied on his intellect and ability to manipulate technology. Um, and just found that like spending time focusing on unlocking and developing a semblance, he thought that was a waste of time compared to what he could do with his mind. I can see why Watts went on. Yeah, uh, so Ironwood does have a semblance. Um, we it's it's what? like in the show. It's in um, in like little bits. You can kind of see it. Um, it's more of like a passive semblance that runs in the background. Um, I believe we called it metal. Um, yeah, and yeah, and so the whole thing is just this kind of like um, iron resolve slash will that like kind of uh, powers him to to like almost like a very stubbornly narrow set focus like mindset on things um to kind okay. of like push himself to i could see ironwood just being uh, like this like just like, um, just like this like hyper focus no yeah. you're gonna yeah. go like push through you're gonna like do this or you're gonna be your arm <laughs> if like this is the goal yeah. he needs to accomplish everything else goes by the wayside yeah, Don't you? yeah. see in my head cannon he has iron sides so you just can't hit him in the midsection yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Ding. yeah it was so yeah that's where Oh, yeah. So that's kind of running in the background of seven and, and eight a little bit. We really wanted to put it on screen in either one of those volumes, but at both the opportunities that we had to put it on screen, it was not the most important thing that needed to be said. Um, and so it felt a little weird, and then we just never really got it on the thing. Sure. Um, yeah, it's definitely something that we're like constantly thinking about when we're writing and storyboarding, animating. It was just you know, How long is this? Uh, this is already there, was, there were more important things to cover in the season. This only for you second, guys, subscribers of Exo Industries. So only for like, you guys. So Am I staying up until can, twelve o'clock at night? Somewhere in the way forward game or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Like, all like of volume that. nine, our characters going, "Yo, what's your semblance?" Yeah, seriously. We just keep reading. Friends yeah. for years now. What do you do exactly? Give me your yeah. backstory, yeah. just like a quick yeah, quick thirty just, seconds. If we yeah. Could, yeah, we, yeah. We, we 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 could possibly get it out later, but we thought it might be more fun for you to be able to watch Volume Eight and, and go back and watch Volume Seven, knowing that Weiss is just like guys. They've been contacts the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I'm not even blind. Oh my God. Just pull it off <laughs> her hair and like, whoo! And she's actually just a cancer, uh, no, that, I think, uh, I special needs is, person. Uh, that's our first official uh, panel from home for Ruby. Yeah. Uh, thank you all for joining us. There's a lot of, lot of really cool content uh, over the next two weeks. It's like nine days. It's crazy. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, please, please, uh, thank you for being first members. Please keep checking stuff out. Uh, and hopefully we will see you all again in person in uh, 2021. We miss um, not. We'll see you in Remnant. Yeah. yeah. Take care. Be safe. Be nice to each other. Oh. Thank you, guys. Bye. Mm -hmm. ah. All right, there you guys go. That's the first panel or Ruby panel of 2020 Rooster Teeth at home. I'm going to edit It's not going to be posted tonight because it is like ungodly late. It's like 11.03 at night and I'm going to bed. So I am going to try and edit this tomorrow. Maybe add in a bit of Ruby panel stuff um, if I can. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to try and edit this tomorrow. I'm going to probably film my collection so you guys can get a feel of my, how hardcore I am of a Ruby fan. Um, yeah, if you like this video, remember to please like, comment, and subscribe to Expo Industries. This is my first Ruby panel. I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to post this being that well, frankly. Frankly, it is a panel, and it is on the RTX website. Um, yeah, so I'm going to... Oh, that was a lot to take in. Oh, that was just crazy. Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope you stuck around. I don't know how great my my audio came in through the panel's audio that I was watching on my laptop. Um, yeah, I'm happy to, to do a smaller video if you want. Please leave a comment down below if you want me to do a bit more smaller video. Being that I did technically audio film the whole panel. Um, if you like this... 
please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Dr. Expo, out.